My name is Dr. Wendy Figge. I am a licensed American Rabbit Breeders Association judge, or ARBA judge. I'm also a veterinarian. My purpose today is to go over handling techniques to allow people to look for disqualifications in rabbit judging. In this uh, video, I will be going over restraint techniques to allow you to handle the rabbit to be able to look for these disqualifications. I will also have pictures of the various disqualifications. With the rabbit, we've got him on a table with a mat and I'm looking initially at his face and, uh, and his, um, his whole body type and I'm looking at his fur. The first thing that I normally look at when I'm looking for disqualifications Not is at the ears. show you're not supposed to be looking at the tattoo, uh, but uh, as far as examining a rabbit for health problems, you would look down for uh, ear canker. Notice the dry, crusty appearance. Ear wax is moist and waxy, not dry. In severe cases, the crusts can extend the entire length of the ear canal, but in a showroom, this is what you would see. This rabbit's ear is noticeably torn, so it would be a disqualification but this rabbit has a very small nick. Many judges would place this ra second rabbit, simply faulting it for a minor blemish. This rabbit has bell ears, which is a disqualification. Summer babies grow longer ears, which in the heat will curl over. In cooler weather, this rabbit's ears may straighten up, but today you would disqualify him. We next look at the rabbit's eyes. This can be done either before or after turning the rabbit over. This rabbit has weepy eye, which is a disqualification. On closer exam, you can see the lower lid is turned inward, which is a condition called entropion. But you are a rabbit judge, so please call this weepy eye because the eye is watering. This rabbit would be disqualified for a spot in its eye. This is scar tissue on the cornea from an ulcer, but the spot on the eye is what a judge would say. This rabbit has a cataract, so would be a disqualification for blindness. This is another spot in the eye. It's an infection in the front part of the eye, probably due to E. caniculi, the organism which causes kidney scarring and wry neck. But spot in the eye would be the correct term on the show table. This Dutch rabbit has a marbled eye. Notice the blue spot on this brown eye. This would be acceptable in a chinchilla, but not in a Dutch. This wild-eyed Dutch has the wrong colored eyes. This is a black Dutch, and it should have brown eyes. We're not really sure what color eyes this rabbit actually has, but do disqualify him from the wrong colored eye, and you would be correct. These next three rabbits have moon eyes, which are a disqualification common in the New Zealand Reds. The eyes will start out cloudy and slowly change to the blue you see here. I now want to shift gears to snuffles. Any rabbit which is brought to the show table with snot coming from his nose is quickly returned to the owner, being disqualified for snuffles. There's a white discharge coming from the nose and also matting in the front feet. The next thing I'm going to do with this rabbit is I'm going to turn him over. And I put my hand between his ears and hold him firmly by the back of his neck and then just gently turn him over. And I'm turning this rabbit over to check its teeth and I pull back on the lips that way. This is an example of severe buck teeth or malocclusion. The bottom rabbit's bottom jaw is too long so the bottom teeth are growing out and up and the top teeth actually curl down and then around to the roof of its mouth. This rabbit has simple malocclusion or budding teeth. This is harder to pick up but must be viewed from the side to catch. These rabbits but not this one, often have pegged teeth, which are tiny teeth behind the front teeth that grow excessively, which tips you off. Simple malocclusion is a disqualification. But then I will take my fingers and I'll gently rub under the jaw to see if he has any abscesses under the jaw. The next thing I do with him is I check his front feet and I'll put my thumb between under on his pad and push gently and that will allow the toenails to show up and you can see whether they're all there, uh, what color they are, um, 
you can also look for sore hocks at that time on the front feet. The other foot I'm going to do the same way. I just press down and the toenails will show up. This rabbit has mismatched toenails. Since his feet are white, all of his toenails should be white, but the outer two nails are dark. The only time this would not be a disqualification would be if this rabbit was a broken patterned rabbit. The rabbit's outside toe in this picture on the left front foot is broken and set out of alignment, which is a disqualification. This rabbit has scabby hocks, but in order to disqualify him, they would have to be bleeding or abscessed. So this rabbit's not disqualified, but clearly this second rabbit would be disqualified for sore hocks. The next thing I do is I run my hand down his um, stomach looking for any lumps. In a doe, you'd be looking more for uh, abscesses on the mammary glands. And then I get to the back legs and by putting my thumb in front of his in front of his kneecap, I can push down and have the back leg stretch straight out. And I'm going to look for any deformities of the back legs this way. And I'll repeat it on the other side for the other leg. And then I'll put my thumb in the middle of his pad and check his toenails, see what color they are and whether they're all there. I can also check his uh, foot pads for any signs of sore hocks while he's here. To check the sex, the easiest way is to hold the tail Hang between. On. I next grab the rabbit uh, by the tail between my first and second fingers and I press down to show the penis. I'm going to show this even closer. This rabbit has a growth coming from his rectum. It's a hemorrhoid, but the official disqualification would be abnormal rectum or you could call it a tumor. This rabbit has a pimple on his penis, which is a disqualification. The pimple is the yellow dot above the penis. But this next rabbit simply has hair follicles with normal sebum. So this is normal for some bucks and some does. But this next picture is not normal and is vent disease. Vent disease is syphilis, a contagious sexually transmitted disease of rabbits, but this can sometimes be hard to tell from hutch burn, which is an irritation due to sitting on soiled bedding. In either case, don't touch the area to sex the rabbit, but disqualify it immediately and have the owner remove it from the show table. You will know if it's syphilis if its face looks like this. This is out of focus picture of a buck with a split penis which is a disqualification. As juniors, these rabbits will be called does, but as they mature, the testicles appear, letting you know you have a buck with a split penis. When bucks go through puberty at four months of age, the opening will elongate, but then close down by five months of age. Giant breeds normally have lo longer opening than other breeds. A missing testicle is always a disqualification. Juniors may have both absent, but when one is present and the other one must also be present. Cold or scared bucks may pull up their testicles, so I will move the senior bucks on, I, I will put a senior buck uh, aside and go on to other rabbits to give this rabbit a chance to relax and let the testicles come down. This is a tumor in a testicle and is a disqualification as a tumor. A missing or bobtail is a disqualification. This is rye or screw tail. Also blow into the coat to check for the undercolor of the coat and check for any debris that might be in the belly. Then I'm going to turn him back over and I'm going to set him up and I at this point in time will run my hand the wrong way of the fur to check for any dandruff um, any problems in the fur. Uh, this, is this is a classic fur mite case which is a disqualification. Notice the scabby condition between the shoulder blades and not simply hair loss. Fur mites can occur in other areas of the body but between the shoulder blades is the most common. This rabbit is simply in a bad molt and should be faulted and not disqualified. You can now tell where the term blowing the coat comes from. This Himalayan is disqualified for smut on the usable portion of the pelt, which is over the hips. 
Smut can also occur on the eyebrows and on the dewlap, but those are only fault as the locations are not usable portions of the pelt. This is a white spot on a belly and a white spot on the ear, both disqualifications in this Dutch, but the white spot on the tip of the ear of this broken holland lop is not a disqualification. This broken black English lop has a foreign colored spot on his nose next to his eye and that is a disqualification for a foreign colored spot. This broken pattern mini lop is disqualified for a lack of a butterfly. Notice there is no color on his nose. In this picture this Polish is disqualified for being a Charlie or less than 10 percent color on his body. This Californian is disqualified because of the white on the inside of its ears, which is called martinization. A silver martin is supposed to have this martin pattern, which is white on the inside of the ear, but not the Californian. This is a good example of a blue tortoise Dutch. Blue torts are recognized in some breeds, but at this writing, not, it is a disqualification in Dutch. This rabbit has wry neck, which is a disqualification. These two rabbits are showing disqualification of splay leg in the rear legs, and the following rabbit has splay leg in the front legs. This last rabbit is a good example of the disqualification for unworthy of an award. Um, in the final thing of judging, we're going to go ahead and pose him, but uh, for disqualifications, uh, we're done. We've looked him over. This has been only an overview of some of the disqualifications from competition in rabbits. A complete listing is found in the ARBA Standard Perfection, which is available at the ARBA website through arba.net.